FDA is hearing from hundreds of women today, including one from North Texas, who say that their breast implants made them pretty sick. One's for Justice reporter Alana Otler with more on what is being said today. Alana? Doug, the FDA has been investigating the link between textured breast implants and a rare form of cancer. But today, some women are pushing the agency to look at all breast implants. I kept saying my body's trying to tell me something's wrong. Talia Maddock thought she had done her research before getting breast implants. They said saline is the safest implant, so if it ruptures, it's just saline solution. But three months after her procedure, she says she suffered from unexplained symptoms. I would be fine, and all of a sudden my face would just start itching and swelling. Maddock claims the symptoms kept getting worse, and when no one believed her, she started doubting herself. The alone times, I'd go in my room and lay in my bed and cry and ask God, like, just make this stop. I started then having flu-like symptoms. Today, the FDA is hearing from several women, including Princeton resident Jamie Cook. She had similar unexplained symptoms after getting her implants in 1998. Now she runs an advocacy group for women with breast implant illness. That it wasn't really about me anymore. It was about all these women, and then it was about the problem with breast implants. Her group is requesting the FDA remove the textured implants that some say are linked to the rare cancer. Print a black box warning, the strictest kind of warning, for breast implants, and include a better informed consent process for patients. I don't want to take away all options from women, but I do think they have the right to know. After 10 years of suffering, Maddox removed her implants. She says she's speaking out for women like her. Pull them out sometimes to remind myself of where I've come and the reason that I share my story. In the last 10 years, the FDA received a total of 1,328 complaints from patients specifically about breast implants. The most common symptoms include fatigue, brain fog, and rashes. And Doug, the FDA is not proposing any restrictions or warnings just yet. Doctors say it's hard to diagnose the illness because they don't really know what the tests are for it, how to identify it. And I think as you and I were talking during the story, everybody's body reacts differently. So that's another challenge moving forward. Yeah, she's referring to a friend of mine who, who uh, had them for about 10 years and never felt right and said, I need to get them out. Has written a book subsequently, actually. For her, it worked. Maybe it helps others maybe make that same decision. Absolutely. Right. Good look inside, Alana. Thanks for sharing.